What other discussions do you have? Someone, you don't necessarily have to go through his phone to know he's cheating. No. Earl on the beat. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a special guest from Hono. <laughs> And I'm talking about Stephanie Briggs. She's from the US. Did you hear her name, Stephanie Briggs? Wow. Am I supposed to come? Okay, yeah, so I'm supposed to say I'm Stephanie Briggs from the US. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Briggs from the Creeks. Yay! Wow, did you see that? Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Stephanie Briggs, and I come from the Creeks. And we don't play no tricks. Oh, she. Damn, why should I drive, man? <laughs> Stephanie is so many things actually. She's so many things. She's she's a realtor. She's a media personnel. She's um she's from the Creeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she's always better. Exactly. <laughs> Stephanie is going to talk to us about how are you gonna know when your money's cheating? Ah <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> Were you ready for that? <laughs> no, you were not. You were not. So Stephanie, how do we know? Well, firstly, I'm gonna ask a question. Yeah. How do you stay in a relationship and your partner is getting married and you don't know? Okay, that thing about people getting married while you're still in a relationship. Yes, right? like how do you stay that ignorant? Uh would you do okay wait, do you, would you say that it's ignorance? Okay, yeah, it's ignorance, one. But ah uh, but what you know that's deep, right? It is his ignorance. Like, how do you stay with a man who doesn't get through to you in 24 hours? And he's not in the emergency unit. He wasn't kidnapped. He's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> he is busy. But in 24 hours, he had time to eat. He had time to lay his head. If you were that important, hello. When a man says you're too clingy, please, be clingy. I know men yes. don't like girls or uh, ladies who are clingy. So when he goes into another like, relationship, you would know. Oh, when, I mean, okay. when I mean clingy, you allow him his space, do his thing. But then again, be in his program. Okay? No, okay, I'm here now. I know where my man is. I know what he's doing. He might actually switch, um, switch it a bit. But I know where he is right now. Do you know where your boyfriend is? Auntie, where is your boyfriend? That's what she asked. <laughs> Or oh, even your husband too. Because... Yeah, okay, where's your money, you know, Shaw? Do you discuss deep? Do you know how his day was? Do you know his plan for tomorrow? Do you know what his next week's schedule is? Okay, do, uh, do you or... think uh, um, some men actually want to open up about all of that? Like, my plan for next week and all of that? Like, if... all of that details? See, let me tell you. It's all about how you start those things. How you set the pace. From the onset, if you're very, very interactive, if, you're, if you, are, you are your partner's friend before being intimate, you'd know certain things. You'll be able to discuss it and he will feel very, very comfortable letting you into his program naturally. As uh, discussing with someone, someone came to see me and I'm like, oh yeah, my place by this time of the day, are you, are you not supposed to be home with your family? And he told me something, he said, I, you're the only one I can discuss with like this. My wife is good, but I cannot discuss with her to this point. Why are you not discussing with him? <coughs> now that is very serious. Yes. Wait. Okay. Now does that is it is that actually solely dependent on the woman? Mm -hmm. What happens to the man? Like, can't he just actually on his own without being asked try to get involved to okay. be involved? Let me tell you, I can't just walk up to you and start telling you next week I'll be in Kaduna on Tuesday. I have a show to handle. There has to be a conversation that will lead to it. Okay, of course. Yes. So, aside discussing what you do behind closed doors, what other discussions do you have? Someone, you don't necessarily have to go through his phone to know his cheating. No. What are your programs like? How often do you communicate? Is the communication increasing or decreasing? If it's decreasing, then something is wrong. Is he okay mentally? 
he might not be cheating he might just be having some breakdown somewhere okay yeah I and his finances is going on very well if these things are okay then what is eating his time why is your communication where's a bridge in your communication do you take time to ask him questions you used to do this before so why are you no longer doing it sometimes it, you could be the reason why he's changed and if you bring up the conversation most men are not very secretive so when you bring up the conversation they just take it up from there they, ah, they might say jokingly but it comes out you just know so most times if there's another person that's the reason he will not call you for 48 hours how can you not call you for 48 hours when he's not dead or into an emergency unit bro it's crazy now you want to die for okay. real <laughs> see see what some of us put in our heads as a perfect relationship you go to your boyfriend's house to spend the weekend and on friday you go clubbing you come back on saturday wasted <laughs> and then um, he leaves you on saturday because he has to be with the ball boys to play ball and do all of that boy stuff he comes back at night you'll have a wonderful sex time on sunday you're back to your base did you people discuss no we had a wonderful time i spent a whole lot of time with my boyfriend no until you did not <laughs> He spent a whole lot of time in his bed. Like, how do you be with someone you don't talk to? He's your partner, not a master-slave relationship. There should be friendship, that's the word. To know your partner is cheating, you don't necessarily have to start looking you know, at who is calling, who is calling him, who is he hanging out with. No. Focus on the both of you. And if for any reason you observe something ask questions if the answers are not forthcoming ask again if it's not forthcoming auntie snoop, <laughs> snoop check, his, around. check his phone oh what my god to, <laughs> oh god as a lady i really don't um i don't condemn people who walk around with condoms in their bags mm -mm. i don't so if your man has condom in his wallet, how many are there? Four. Okay. You come on Tuesday, there are many three. What happened? You don't bust. Do you ask questions at all? But you come and one is not there and it's normal. He gave it to his friend. You keep making excuses for them without asking questions. No. You go to your boyfriend's house. He abandoned, abandoned you in this house that he has some things to do. He goes off for the weekend and comes back the day you're leaving. And you spent the weekend in his house. No, he went to his main girlfriend's house to spend the weekend since you were in his house. Okay, it's now let's let's bring it to this part where I see people. Okay, are you trying to say that? Because I've seen um guys who are able to give attention to two women like at the same time. Mm. That's, <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about. If your man calls you two times a day. If there's a distraction, if there's another lady, I call them distraction anyway, there must be difference. The calls may become shorter, they may not be, uh, be regular, and <clears throat> even a holy book tells us that you cannot serve two masters at a time. Of course, though, well, there is always that. So, leave the pretense. Balance, though. If you're really into that particular relationship, you would understand immediately a distraction comes in. I can use myself as an example. Okay, my as a relationship was going all fine and beautiful. Then boom, I understood. Uncle became a little bit too busy at work and all of that. So I asked him, what is happening? Are we drifting apart? You would know. But most times we don't. We just decide to live with the lies because we feel we can't handle the truth. But what is there? At the end of the day, it's either it is or it is not. There's no in between. So if you observe that there is a bridge, you ask question, if the answers are not forthcoming, you know the relationship has run its course. You don't flop dead horses. If he's going for if he's being distracted, like I said, if you draw his attention to it, two things will happen. Either he'll drop the distraction and face you squarely because you're already in the know. Or he will drop you and go for the distraction. These things are A or B. Either he's here or he's not. You don't know when your your other partner, your partner, 
is in a relationship because you're either in a relationship or something is distracting you. You're entertaining another man's attention. If you're not, if you're not, you'd know. If he calls you five times a day and he spends two minutes, if there's a distraction, he will call you three times and he'll spend one minute. I had a very close friend. He'll tell me, uh, I told you this, this is, he didn't tell me. He told someone else. Someone else, yeah, exactly, yeah. I think I, I've, I've, I've seen that situation before. Mm -hmm. Most of things they told you something. Yes. And then you're like, is it me you told this thing? You're, because it's not me. I didn't hear that thing. Because <laughs> you pay attention to what he says to you. So when he comes up with, um, you know, I told you, you know that you guys never had that conversation. Why are you holding on to that relationship that is dead? If he's cheating, obviously, he has option. He choose. It may be you, it may not be you. So why not face it squarely? If he always comes with, ah, I thought I told you, I thought I told you. He's telling someone that he's talking that is disease. <laughs> I'll be touching. My, dear, my secondary school. <laughs> it's touching. Every time I thought, every time I thought, you did, what are you touching? It's a clear case of there's somebody and when he informs the person about his activity, he just feels it's you. And when he communicates with you, he wants to follow up the gist. And again, you, sister, when he comes and tells you, I'm having a bad day at work, a bad day at work, yeah? And um, A is behaving this way, B is behaving this way. When he comes the next day, do you ask him, okay, what's up with A, what's up with B, or no? You just want to take his belt off. <laughs> Sometimes we cause this for ourselves. Oh <laughs> There's this follow-up conversation. You said you're having this thing uh, um, going on in the office. What's up with it? You say you're having this program coming up in the office. How far preparations? No, you're not interested in all of that. You're interested in, have you been paid? Um, this hair Alice is selling, this hair, this one is selling, this nails, this one is doing. No, no, you're pushing him off. See, there are several ladies who have enough time to listen to him talk. He's a man doesn't mean he has everything figured out. Sometimes he wants to talk about it. Sometimes he wants to cry about it. Literally. Cry about it. Are you willing to allow him have that emotional breakdown around you? Or no, the dick has to be erect for us to talk. No. And because he's a man doesn't make him a superman. Sometimes we let them cheat, sometimes we don't. If you set the line very, very straight, we do this, we don't do this. You have your own respect. If he's cheating on you, you would know. Things will not be the same if you're paying attention to him. When people come up and say, I dated you for three years and um, you left me and got married, it's a lie. A year before no, when he got married, of course, like a really, new, a year before he <laughs> knew the relationship was running its course. A year before, like what? That's why I don't believe in those things. People say contingency boyfriend, or you just woke up and somebody's telling you they, they're breaking up from a relationship, and then you're telling the person you met this girl three months ago. No, you didn't meet that girl three months ago, and you got married. No, no, no. You met her one she year ago. She has been ago. in the picture, like always been there so uh, I, I don't believe in those things that oh you just met this girl three months ago and then they are fine and then he just thinks he wants to marry her no you didn't want to marry her now you've always wanted to you knew you were going to marry her i feel like guys already know who they want to marry or who they want to get married to should i create a scenario for you okay we have girl a we have girl b okay this man is dating girl a but girl b gives him a listening ear gives him all the attention he he craves for but girl a is the girlfriend girl b is in a relationship and somewhat he's in a relationship he cannot destroy her own and all of that and somehow girl b breaks off her relationship she's now single he may now stand up and be like okay this one gives me everything i want girl a just answering girlfriend as per title he may wake up and just move straight he might not be harboring that intention of getting married to girl B because she was already taken. Okay. But right now that she's no longer taken, he can just say, okay, what am I doing? She's she's single and this one is just having the title. He might just leave the title of girlfriend with this one and go and give B the wife title. And to seem like he woke up one day and moved. No. 
something has been brewing for a while. He has been talking to someone. Why is that someone not you? We ladies, we like to talk. There are times we just want to talk about it. We want people to listen. And who told you men don't want to listen, don't want to talk to, for you to listen? We are humans. I don't think they are superhumans. Sometimes he doesn't want to talk. He just wants you to be there. Why are you not there? If you are there and he's cheating, you would know. If you're committed, right? But if you watch this video and you liked it, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to break this video down into two parts, okay? So I'll upload the first part and then the second one, still within the week, because I want you guys to follow up. Aside that, if you're new, do what? Subscribe. Like and leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't try to come for us because we'll come for you. I wanna even play with you. Pay attention to that relationship. Pay you attention. That's the key word. Hold it. If you don't listen to anything, shall hold it. Pay attention to your man. You help. So till next time, baby boy, baby girl. <laughs>